Listen, she already know this. Think about what life's gonna go from here, but guess what? Make this year one of the best years you had. And then next year gonna be better, next year better than wow, that's your whole topic. Hell yeah. <laughs> Okay, this week on the Beaver Bunch, we're covering the topic of domestic violence, and I think Jess and Lori did a really good job covering that and giving um, really good information and resources on where you guys can get um, help or, or you know, seek some, um, like, a big brother or big sister for that. Also, I want to let you know that uh, the Beaver Bunch, like me and the rest of us, are, are there for you guys. So if you ever have a problem or have a question, you can always private message us on our personal channels, or you can email us through the, the uh, Beaver Bunch email, or send us a channel message because we all read those, and um, we'd be happy to talk to you guys. Or if you just need, you know, some advice or someone to talk to, we're definitely here for you. Um, last night I watched What's Love Got to Do with It, and Ike would beat the shit out of Tina Turner, and it just it was weird because I didn't know this week's topic was domestic violence, but I ended up renting that on Netflix anyway because a friend told me to rent it to watch it, and. Um, it was really interesting to see how much he would kick her ass and then she would come back because she loved him but really there's no there's no amount of love that should make you come back to somebody who kicks your ass unless well no there is there's just no excuse for it so if you're in that kind of relationship you need to reevaluate that and reevaluate yourself and what you want out of life because somebody that beats you down either physically emotionally verbally all of that is just unacceptable um, to, to stick around and, and oh, I and want you guys to know that if you are in an abusive relationship and that person's like I'm gonna stop this will be the last time I'm gonna hate you it's just like when an alcoholic tells you this is the last drink I'm gonna have or somebody who does drugs this is the last whatever I'm gonna do they're doing it to to pacify you and make you think that everything's gonna be okay but in reality it's gonna happen again and again and again until that person seeks help or until you step out and and, and leave so um, people think that, you know, being gay or lesbian, you know, we don't get into abusive relationships. But a lot of the times we we are like, and I say we are like as a whole, as a community in these relationships. And people don't say anything because the other partner threatens to out them. If you go to the police, I'm going to out you. Or, you know, it gets blamed on alcohol or, or drugs. Oh, they just hit me because they were drunk or they just hit me because they were high. But it's still not an excuse. And, and I hope that none of you who watch these videos of ours are in a relationship like that. And um, like I said, if you are, please get some help, contact us, do what you have to do to be safe and happy. And um, that's my video for the week, guys. I'm not going to put any links up because Lori had a ton. So if you need resources, please seek her video from yesterday. And um, I'm going to go pack for New York now. Cause I'm leaving next week and I need to pack now. So that's my video for this week. And um, <laughs> we have a secret word for you. So hold on a second. All right, guys, the secret word of the week is.